Hello, and in my last video, we went over the Harrod Domar model and what it is. In this video, I want to talk about what are the implications, what is the meaning behind the Harrod Domar model. Well, essentially, what it's implying is that the reason why um, developing countries are so poor is that there is a, a fundamental savings gap, a lack of capital accumulation there. What they're saying is the main obstacle to development, according to the Haradoma model, is relatively low levels of capital formation. So if they want to grow, it's pretty easy. They need to increase savings and the productivity of investment. Because remember, growth is equal, uh, equal to the savings ratio divided by the capital output ratio. So how could they increase savings or change or increase the productivity of investment? via, for example, technological changes. The savings gap can be facilitated through foreign aid also, as well as private foreign investment. Now, this kind of policy implication is similar to the rationale that was behind the Marshall Plan. Now, what was the Marshall Plan? The Marshall Plan was an American program which was used to aid Europe, in which the US gave um, financial support, aid, um, to help rebuild the devastated economies um, of Europe after World War II. And it was also done to stop the spread of Soviet communism and to encourage capitalism. Um, the plan was in operation for four years, beginning in April 1948. The goals of the USA were to rebuild the devastated economies, as I've said. And they did this through removing trade barriers, uh, modernizing industry, um, so basically the kind of prescriptions that the IMF, the neoclassical kind of prescriptions that these that would be provide, uh, prescribed, they're capitalists, they're not communists. Um, so, I mean, although I have to say that some of these implications, um, you know, to get foreign trade going, to increase savings accumulation, to increase capital inflows, we have to take with a caveat because as we've seen with the Asian crisis, a lot of it was to do with premature financial liberalization. A lot of this is to do with timing. So, you know, I'm skeptical on this. In this video, I don't want to go over the criticisms. I just want to go over the implications. So I'm not going to talk anymore about the criticisms. But what it's implying is that also um, government planning should be there to improve investment, to improve the types of capital that are being implemented, improve the quality of it, and um, yeah, to facilitate um, the savings. So I don't, by whatever that means to uh, increase the amount of money that's um, being saved, reduce the amount that's being uh, consumed. And it was a Harrod Doma model that actually the implications that provided a framework for economic planning in some economic developing countries already. For example, India's five-year um, plan, which had um, very investment-heavy um, economic planning that took place. Thank you for watching.